eight division, Filipino, superstar, surefire, first ballot, Hall of Famer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao was the subject of false information, was the target of false information by none other than Amir King Kong, who stated that himself and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao signed the contract to face one another, which Manny Pacquiao stated is absolutely not true, and he was unaware of it. Stay tuned, coming up next. Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. Hola, habla What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Amir King Kong stated that himself and eight division Filipino superstar boxer Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao has signed a contract should Manny Pacquiao be victorious versus Keith one time Thurman this upcoming Saturday, July 20th in Las Vegas, Nevada, that they had signed a contract to face off in February. Well, when asked by Ellie Setback, ES News, Ellie Setback asks Manny Pacquiao, oh, so Keith Thurman Amir Khan stated that should you get past Keith Thurman, you already signed the contract to face off against him in Dubai. Manny Pacquiao then turned around and gave the weirdest face, the shockedest face, the unknown face that you could ever find. He had no idea what Ellie Setback was talking about. He said, I was unaware of this. I knew nothing about this. I don't know what you're talking about. And I don't know what Amir Khan is talking about. I wasn't even in negotiations with Amir Khan. Wow. Amir Khan went and made up an entire story how Manny Pacquiao had signed the contract to face him in Dubai in February. Manny Pacquiao knew none of this, okay? So Amir Khan completely, completely made this story up. Completely. This is ridiculous. Amir Khan has been doing this, chasing Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather for the last seven years. He's been making up stories, saying that, oh, Floyd Mayweather contract was signed. He said this before about Floyd Mayweather. Now he's doing it again with Manny Pacquiao. He has been chasing these guys to, to face them for about seven years. The better part, about seven years. And he's still at it. He just fought, Amir Khan just fought in Dubai against Billy Dibbs in a horrible event. Horrible, to say the least. Unentertaining. Should be ashamed of himself, Amir Khan, for facing a guy who was a featherweight. Now he faced Billy Debs. Unbelievable. 126 pounder, Billy Debs. This is who, 130 pounder. 126, 130, Billy Debs. This is who Amir Khan chose to fight. And he still feels like he's he's part of the upper echelon of the sport of boxing in the welterweight division where he deserves a fight against Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. He still sees himself on that level. Amir Khan, word to the wise, you're not on that level, brother. No disrespect to Amir Khan because Amir Khan has, would face anybody that you put him in the ring with. But his last fight against a credible opponent in pound for pound king, Terrence Bud Crawford, he got dropped in the first round, and then he quit for what he claimed was a low blow, and it was a clear punch on the upper thigh. The upper thigh. And Amir Khan quit. And now he's still looking for a huge payday. And like I stated, no disrespect to Amir Khan because he was stepping in the ring with the best of the best. It's just that he wasn't successful against the best of the best. He likes to place himself in the same light, in the same conversation with the Mayweathers and the Pacquiao's of the world. And he's just not that at all whatsoever. Amir Khan, it's time for Amir Khan to wake up. Now he's embarrassing himself. You just had a fight in Dubai versus Billy Dibbs. And now, you, now you're talking, now you're telling the world that Manny Pacquiao and yourself had signed a contract to face off in Dubai in February. And Manny Pacquiao comes out and says, clearly you could tell from Amir, uh, Manny Pacquiao's reaction, he had no idea what anybody was talking about. Not the slightest idea 
what Ellie Setback was talking about. Not in the slightest. He had no idea what Ellie Setback was talking about. Didn't know where it came from. You had to see the face he gave him. He was shocked beyond words. I signed the contract? I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't even talking about Amir Khan. I'm only focused on Keith Thurman. And why would Manny Pacquiao go from fighting Keith Thurman to facing Amir Khan in Dubai? Amir Khan has got to be kidding me. And he's kidding himself. And he's embarrassing and making a mockery of his uh, career at this point in time. It's horrible. It's truly horrible. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao says, I have no clue what a man con is talking about. And he's silly. He's a clown. Point blank and period. That's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby. From the Empress. Much love. Mwah.